Can you feel? My heart beat. Tired of feeling. That's it. I'm just tired of feeling. Never eat up. Relatable. I close my eyes and tell myself that my dreams will come true. We were born to make history. More like we were born to ship victory, am I right? Aoyama, you came too early. Lord Cats, I've ever heard that one before. Um, gross? Shut the fuck up, you gay laser boy. French Sparkler has changed their name. To Gay Laser Boy. Gay Laser Boy has added Kakashi but stronger into the chat. Welcome now. What's up, dumbass bitches? We talked about this new chan. So we're gonna do us there and I talk at you, Chan. No regrets. Fine, but no kisses from me today. One regret. Is no one going to talk about the fact that Monomon's knee is a Naruto reference? He copy, I copy. And the anime itself isn't that Bad. It's a fandom that's stuck to cancer. Fair enough. So, what did everyone think of Yuri on Ice? I relate so much to Yuri Katsuki. I guess it wasn't horrible. It was super gay. I loved it. I feel like Aoyama discovered his anime persona in Chris. We, oui, he is magnificent. Just do me a solid and don't just on the ice and we go skating. Let gasp. How dare you, sir. Did, did you just change your font for a meme? Or are you actually offended? Can I not do both? Fair enough. I think we can all agree that Kotsky is the living embodiment of Guria. Considered a genius, blonde, pretty, and full of rage. Fair enough. The kids got spunk. Hey, I'm not full of rage. I can be full of other things. Please don't finish that sentence, Kotchan. Oh, we all know what you're full of, Baku, bro. Kirishima's dick. Dude, no, it's... Not funny if you have to say it. I mean, I was going to say Kachan was full of shit, but that works too. Whoops, sorry dude, I just got so excited. I know. That's gay. Mwah. I should be insulted, but honestly, I'm too damn flattered that I got memed on by the class memers. It's an honor, truly. Oh my god, really? Nah, well. <laughs> Dang it. My favorite character was Yuri Kazuki too. He reminded me a lot of Izuku. Hmm. Thank you, Sho. Seong Gyo-Li reminded me of you. He seemed pretty cool and collected, but was secretly a massive dork. Can you do me a favor, though, and promise me to never mambo on ice? I promise. I don't think I could pull it off as well as Seong did. I wonder who's our class version of Victor and Nikki Farad. It's more. <laughs> nah, it's gotta be Kirishima. You have that look about you that you're the sexy, smooth, skilled athlete when you really are a massive nerd with a huge crush on someone with no social skills. Victor, I'm the literal definition of the word extra, Nikki Forov. Ooh, ooh. I'll show you no social skills, raccoon eyes. Get back here and face me like a man. It looks like Kirishima is starting to rub off on you in more ways than Wahan. Wink. Why are you like this, Mina? You know you love me. Mwah. Todoroki, have you replaced my house C CD yet? I'm working on it. It's difficult to find a mall that we haven't been banned from. To be fair, the first one was Midoriya's fault for being stupid enough to fall for Shigaraki's trap. Ah, uh, don't at me! Yeah, but who's the idiot who jumped in the Southside Mall water fountain to look for a change, got excited when he found a gold coin and electrocuted not only himself but those nearby? And who's the idiot that accidentally trashed the arcade in Northside Mall because he got a whittle angry that he couldn't beat the high score on a stupid pinball machine? Don't forget the time that Cammy thought he could make one of those kid rides go faster by charging it with electricity and accidentally shot himself through the glass ceiling of the Westside Mall. For fuck's sake, I get it. Mm. Do you, though? It's not like you've never done stupid shit, Hata. Huh, yeah, but my stupid shit has never gotten me and my class banned from entire malls. Why don't you just order her CD off of Amazon, Shochan? It seems like that would be easier. Well... I have a good memeable feeling about this silence. I don't know how to order off of Amazon. That's so sad. Alexa, play Despacito. I don't understand. Ignore him. He'll get tired and leave. Eventually. Oof, that hurt Momo. 
I can show you how really quickly if you want me to. Thank you, Zuku. Those two are so fucking gay. You're gay too, Kotsky. Okay, fair. Dragon Rider has changed their name to It's a Hard Rock Life. Why are you like this? Why not? Hey, I actually understand this meme. Good for you, Ida. I'm proud of our mom friend. I thought I was the mom friend? There can be more than one mom friend. I think we all know that Ojiro is the dad friend. I literally said maybe two things in this entire group. Yeah, but those two things kept us from getting even more off track than we already were. Hey, why can't Dark Shadow and I be the dead friend? I've practically been a father my whole life. How about we don't go there? Okay, fair enough. What a mad banquet of darkness. Okay, you're done. No more staying up for you. Sorry about him. He gets that way when he stays up for two or three days at a time. Hashtag relatable birdman 2k18. Tokoyomi, we should hang out more. I think we have a lot in common. Okay, sure. Couldn't hurt to get to know the new kid in class. It's Shinzo. We met at the sports festival. I'm aware. <laughs> Lame. Do I need to lock you in my room again? Kinky. Can anyone in this fucking class just keep it in their goddamn pants? You're one to talk, Bakugo. It was one time. No. No, it was not just one time. I wish to God it was, but it wasn't. You don't seem to give a shit when it's the half and half idiot and fucking Deku. Oh no, I give those to hell. You just don't see it because you never train with us. And I swear I will make those two horny idiots regret the day they were born if they're literally screwing around instead of doing what they set out to do. Too late. Same. We already regret the day we were born. Jesus, is anyone in this class okay? I thought we already established that no one in this cursed class is okay. Class 1A? More like class I'm not okay. Is that an MCR reference? Maybe. Why are we not better friends? I am a sucker for Welcome to the Black Parade myself. Isn't that an emo band? Maybe. 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 I didn't know you had an emo phase, Izuku. Who said the emo phase was over? We have weekly meetings if you want to join Todoroki. I will consider this. As long as there's proper supervision, I see no problem with this. Why do we have to need a supervision? I may have read on the interwebs that there's the passing of illegal substances at meetings like this. To be honest, most of those stories are just teenagers attempting to look cool and mature to a group of complete strangers. No one in any groups that I traveled in has done this, though I'm sure it probably happens. Rumors like that are too often based in some sort of reality. I trust you, Shinzo. We haven't known each other long, but you seem like a good person. Look at our little Shinsboro fitting in, making friends. I'm so proud. I will find that thing most dear to you and make you watch it as you destroy the precious object yourself. Ah, uh, you're hilarious. So funny. Clink. <laughs> I'm not joking, though. So, Todoroki. How's replacing my precious house CD coming along? Should arrive in two days, along with the newest Howley Kyoko album because I remembered you saying something about liking her. Consider it reparations for the emotional damage I caused in my need to protect Izuku's innocence. That's my boy, right there. Oh my god, thank you so much! You didn't have to do that! Oh, it's okay. I used my shitty old man's credit card to pay for it. So thank you for giving me an opportunity to spite my old man. I don't think this is going to work out the way you think it is, but any opportunity to stick it to the numbered poo hero is golden in my book. OMG Midoriya, I am screeching! <laughs> Number poo hero, oh my god. Oh my god, Deku. Be more salty. 
I could do a cartoon impression. Oh, look at me. I'm so angry because I have an actually useful quirk and no one wants to be my friend because I used it to torment the one person who's willing to put up with me and my bad attitude, even though I know he's just trying to do his best. At least I'm not a whiny bitch who breaks himself over and over because I never know when enough is enough. At least I didn't steal someone else's quirk because I couldn't handle the fact that some things are just too far out of my reach. Red-Eyed Black Dragon has joined the chat. That's enough, you two. You will both report to the principal's office immediately. You should both know better than to spill secrets that aren't yours.